Hello, this is Jeff Foster with Web Biz Ideas. Today we're going to go over the topic of SEO e-commerce programming. Now, many times people looking to build a custom e-commerce website ask themselves, how can I ensure the website I'm going to build is search engine friendly? On the other hand, you have established online retail store owners that are looking to engage in SEO or link building efforts, and they may ask themselves, how do I know the website I even have is search engine friendly? Um, so we're going to answer those questions. We're not going to go over the basics, but what we're going to go over is really simple e-commerce programming tips that can really help you or make your job a lot easier when you're looking to market, manage, or run your e-commerce website. Even if you're looking to hire an SEO company, you're going to want to listen to these tips because it's going to save you a bunch of money um, in the long run. So your, your SEO company says, yes, we can help you, but guess what? We need to redesign your, your website completely because it's not even search engine friendly before we can even work. This video is going to help you prevent that. So just getting started, we're going to look at uh, an e-commerce website that we are currently helping. It uses Pinnacle Cart. It's a great shopping cart, but at the same time, some things need to be modified. So the first tip is to make sure that all of your categories and your products are have editable fields. And so what we mean by that is you want to ask your programmer, basically, can I edit every single thing uh, on my category pages and my product pages, right? Not only can you say what your category name is going to be, but can you define your breadcrumb? Can you define your URL? Uh, can you define your header h1 tags, your keywords, your page titles, your descriptions? You want to be able to edit that for every single thing. For example, this URL, Love Beads, that's, that's nice, but it really should be uh, Pandora Love Beads. Um, you want it to be able to edit that so you can really maximize uh, the keywords in each of those. And so we can, we can do a quick case study if this works. We've been working with this client for a little over a year. So they're trying to rank for Pandora Heart Beads, but they're also trying to rank for Pandora Love Beads. Now, they couldn't do that if their, if their category name, which is Pandora Heartbeats, also controlled um, the H1 tag, if it controlled the URLs, and if it controlled the paid titles. Uh, so we can see if we go to Google, we type this in, that they are number one and two for Pandora Heart Charms, but also if you search for Pandora Love Beads, they're, they're moving up in the rankings and now they're number three. So having editable uh, category and product fields will help you rank for multiple keywords. So that's just the, the, the must. We change this in so many e-commerce platforms and it's just a waste of money because it's a programming change that should be done when you're building that site. Um, but moving on and actually going back to the same client, uh, we're going to scroll down here and look at their category descriptions. So many people are familiar with uh, adding uh, product descriptions to each product and then you're familiar with adding category descriptions but what you really want is category descriptions that are HTML enabled. So you really want to ask your programmers, uh, are my descriptions HTML enabled? And by that we mean, uh, can you add links to your category descriptions? Because your category pages are very um, trustworthy in the search engines. They're linked on every single page. They carry a lot of link value. So what you want to do is you want to add links internally to those pages. For example, right here we have Pandora build a bracelet. That's actually linked to that page that we're trying to rank for. So ask your programmers, are my categories HTML enabled? Can I add links? Can I add images? Can I add a video if I wanted to? That's going to be extremely useful when you're promoting your website. You're going to find that you're going to want to do that uh, a lot. So I guess going on, we're going to look at another uh, e-commerce platform called Merchant Metrics. Now they're an extremely search engine friendly e-commerce website. Um, we've worked with them for a long time. Um, so the thing that you're looking at now though is called a tracking code editor. Now you might ask yourself, not only do I want to drive traffic to my website, but I want to know what keywords are actually converting into sales. Or you might be using Google AdWords and you say, well how can I figure out what keywords are actually making me money and not just driving traffic. This is how you do it. Um, at the same time, it works with comparison shopping sites as well. Now, the reason why you want this feature in your site is because you don't want to ask your programmer every single time to copy and paste some simple code into the order completion page. 
So you want just a simple editor like this. So every time you have a new site, every time you, you sign up for Shopping.com or Nextig or Shopzilla or Google AdWords or Bing, you know, AdWords, whatever it is, you want to be able to come in here and simply paste this code into it so you can track the conversions. Uh, that's just a, a simple standard that you should have. Um, the same thing is with a head editor. You should be able to really paste some code into the head of your uh, your home page. That's just a must too. You have to ask your programmers, can I do this? Can I add Google Webmaster Tools? Extremely easy. Can I add Google Website Optimizer to my home page to, 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 to do A-B testing? You don't want to be asking your programmers to drop in simple coding um, simple code like this every time you want to test something out. It's going to cost you an arm and a leg. So that's the other suggestion. Um, I guess moving on, we're going to want to add also Google Analytics. I don't have an example here, but the same thing with Google Analytics. You obviously want that installed, and that just should be a must as well. Most e-commerce software platforms, again, have a little simple drop-down box and says Google Analytics. You paste it in there. Uh, if you're building custom e-commerce software, uh, that should be a must. Um, another thing that this software does extremely well is uh, you're able to export your products into formats that will work for comparison shopping sites. So for example, we come in here, uh, we, we check off some of these, these items here, and we can choose, okay, what do we want to, to export to? Let's say BizRite. They're an extremely popular comparison shopping site. So we export it. It'll take a few seconds here, but eventually what will happen is we'll, we'll have a data feed that kind of pops up in a text format. And what you can do is this isn't basically every single product on your website. And now you can upload this to BizRate in the format that they request. So what it means is that every time you add a product, all you have to do is export this feed, and then you can simply upload this to uh, sites like BizRate, Shopzilla, Nextag, Shopping.com, and even Amazon in certain formats. So I would definitely highly suggest that uh, as well. Um, so the next thing I would also say is, is robot text and um, an XML site map editor. Um, you're going to want to easily add a robot file to your site. You should be able to do this yourself. And at the same time, you should be able to add um, an XML site map when you want it. So here, uh, Merchant Metrics has a manual uh, XML site map editor. So you can simply, every time you add new products or you add new categories, you just click this button, it automatically updates the site map, and next time the spiders come in, they can easily find these new products. Now, you can also have your programmers do this automatic, um, a little bit more expensive, but, but well worth it. Um, so the last thing I want to cover here for the e-commerce uh, programming for SEO is going to be a 301 redirect. Um, most times when you're, when you're running an e-commerce website, you're going to be constantly adding new products, new product lines. At the same time, you'll probably be deleting them. So you're going to want a simple way, instead of going into the FTP editor, into the HT access, and, and try to figure out how to do all this, a simple 301 redirect when you say, okay, I used to have this product URL. I no longer have it. Please redirect all those um, that search engine traffic, that page, to this new one. Very simple. Old URL, new URL. So you're going to want something like that because Google otherwise is going to come to your site and say, all of a sudden you had a thousand products and now you have zero. What happens? You know, they may penalize you. So these are just uh, seven or eight very quick, easy um, at programming changes that you can ask your programmers if you have. Um, it's going to make your life as an internet marketer a lot easier. Um, this is, again, over 10 years of experience that we've just been pr really modifying e-commerce sites. And these are some of the most important e-commerce programming features that we have found to make our life easier, to make it uh, speed up our time, as well as to be more efficient and effective in the search engines. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, you can obviously give us a call at 952-935-4192 or visit us at our website, uh, which is thewebbizideas.com. Uh, thanks a lot. If you'd like to read some more tips, you can also Google uh, Web Biz Ideas SEO e-commerce programming, and it'll take you to the full article where it has the full list. Uh, thank you again for watching.